Sometimes people think that something is wrong with them if there are certain exercises that they're struggling with or they just can't do or they're just embarrassed because they think they should be able to do certain exercises and it's just not coming easy to them. In this video, I'm going to explain why certain exercises might be more challenging and I'll also be sharing what to do about it. My name is Kola. I am certified as a personal trainer, nutritionist, wife, mom. I am here to help us all have a healthier, happier life. The first exercise I want to talk about is the side plank. The second one I'm going to talk about is lunges. And the third thing is not an exercise at all. It's more about a body issue, which is belly fat. Let's start with talking about side planks. The number one reason why a side plank might be more challenging for your neighbor than it is for somebody else is simply because some of us have stronger cores than others. The core is all of this not just the surface muscles that we can see with abs i'm also talking about the actual musculature that holds our organs together we forget that our abs and our core muscles are there to hold our organs inside if those muscles deep inside the body are weak one of the ways it will show up is as wobbling and shaking and trembling when doing planks does this mean there's something wrong with you is this something to be embarrassed about the answer is unequivocally no, it's just a muscle and a muscle can almost always be strengthened. Now, let's talk about why our muscles might be weak. Our core muscles might be weak because we haven't been using them. Most of us, when we lay on our sides, we're relaxing in bed. We're not stiffening our core to engage it. Another reason why the core muscles might become weak is just from having a child. Childbirth for a lot of women is a physically, mentally, and psychologically transformative experience. It changes everything for the woman, including her organs, <laughs> including her core muscles. A lot of women will also go through c-sections which is a very challenging major surgery to recover from. Another exercise that people struggle with a lot is with lunges. I myself struggle with lunges. If you're struggling with lunges the question is well why? I'm gonna give two reasons. One of the reasons is just because of our knees and why do people sometimes have problematic knees? Sometimes it's because of improper form from running. Sometimes it's just literally the shape of our pelvis. If your hips are wide set and shaped a certain way, your femurs, well, the bones in your thighs are going to come in like this. Trying to do lunges when you already have your thigh bone kind of coming in like this is very, very, very stressful on the knees and that can cause knee pain. I said I was gonna say only two, but I wanna quickly say one more. Another thing that can cause a lot of pressure on the knees when we're doing lunges is having extra weight on the body. That extra weight on the body can make it difficult for some people People, not everybody I'm gonna say the fourth thing having a weak core can also make it hard to do lunges not having a strong enough core makes it so that the body can't balance very well while trying to do that lunge and so that can also make the lunges way harder than it is for you know somebody else that maybe has a stronger core the last thing before I talk about some tips is the issue of belly fat I support you to do whatever you want to do with your body and at the same time I just want to put this out there and say that a certain level of belly fat is perfectly healthy. I know before I got into fitness, I was confused about certain fitness models that I saw because I wasn't sure if they had six packs permanently. I wasn't sure if they woke up with the six pack, they ate lunch and still had a six pack, they had snacks and still had that six pack. And now that I am in the industry and now that I've seen what happens, I can tell you categorically that the answer is no. Nobody, 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 no woman I've ever seen in this industry has a six pack 24 7 and is healthy i'm always going to put that caveat in there because for people that are willing to sacrifice their health then there are some superhuman feats that can be achieved for a limited amount of time but if health is a priority i've never seen a healthy woman in the fitness industry that doesn't have some amount of belly fat if you are a human being just trying to live your best life and be healthy and just have a tight core that you feel good about showing off at the cocktail where you know your ex is going to be. If you're just trying to be petty, I support you. I want you to know that a certain amount of belly fat is perfectly healthy, perfectly normal, and actually needed in the female body to produce hormones that help to keep everything 
balance. Let me quickly talk about what to do if you're struggling with side planks. If you're struggling to do a full side plank, there are a few modifications that are really, really just as effective, but less gut-wrenching to do. One would be a half side plank, which is where you're on your elbow instead of having the whole arm fully extended. In most of my workouts, I actually just put the elbow plank as the side plank of choice whenever we're doing side plank. Some of you heard me say that and you're distraught because it's like, that's the one I'm struggling with. I can't do the elbow plank plank that's the one I get it if you're struggling with that one then you may want to instead do a full plank instead of a side plank whenever you see a side plank in any workout if you cannot do the side plank the full plank will work your core as a whole which is still moving you in the right direction eventually you will develop the strength to be able to do a side plank another alternative is to do an elbow plank something else you can do is not do the side plank for the full time you do my workout and we're doing a side plank for say 30 seconds try doing doing it for two seconds and you're thinking two seconds that is nothing I'm a loser remember what I said at the beginning of this video it's not about you it's about the muscle the muscle is not a loser the muscle just needs to be strengthened and so even if you can only do it for two seconds it counts that's two seconds that maybe you wouldn't have done if you didn't try. Next thing you know, two seconds becomes four seconds, four seconds becomes six seconds. Next thing you know, you're emailing me like, OMG, I did a 10 second side plank, I can't believe it. I can tell you how many people start off with my workouts, cannot do a plank, can't do one plank, can't do it. And then after a few months, a few weeks for some people, they're like, oh my God, I can actually do it. I did a 30 second plank. Let's talk about uh, lunges. There are many modifications that are highly effective. One that works really well is to do reverse lunges so instead of stepping forward you're stepping backwards that's a bit gentler on the knees but if you're a person where your core muscles aren't quite as strong as you need them to be you might feel a bit disoriented stepping backwards so your mileage may vary if you don't want to do lunges at all another alternative that works really well is a wall sit I did some wall sits the other day and I was like It never gets old. Another alternative that works really well is doing a knee to chest instead of doing lunges. So with that exercise, you're still getting a good movement done, a good compound movement for your body, but you're not putting any tension on your knees. Visit kabokofitness.com if you haven't done so already. Take my quizzes, get your free printables, enjoy all the amazing things I have available to you, and see if my premium programs are right for you.